three. Welcome to the Dreaming Shark Show! A big thank you to the Wauseon High School Band for that introduction. What do you think, Chuck? Yeah, circular introduction. Yeah. I'm getting dizzy if you get, you know, <laughs> you got vertigo or something, don't watch that introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to week nine of the Tim and Chuck Show, presented by Bat and Stevens Body Shop. I'm Tim McDonough, joined each week by my esteemed colleague Chuck Martinez Brandon. Chuck, week nine, it's league championship and playoff time. It's down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, it's do or die. You know, it's it's really time to start looking at those Joe Itell numbers and and seeing what you need and who you need to lose and who you need to win. And but you know what, all you can do is take care of your own business, win, and you know let the let everybody else sort the rest of this stuff out. Well, it's, it's a fun time of year, and uh, before we dive into our game of the week, we have some video from our videographer, Ethan Matson that he shot from the big GMC volleyball yeah. showdown last week at Tenora, Ayersville packed at house. Tenora. Packed yeah, house. very, very packed house. I mean, the fans there say it all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Standing we, room only. Yeah, well, we got a little bit of fun with a couple of... Uh, Tenora uh, students, I think, having their own little dance party. Yeah, you know, hey, when you're a freshman, sometimes you have to make your own fun because people don't pay attention to you. So, <laughs> <laughs> you do what you got to do. <laughs> well, I think I think this might be maybe the one of the highlights of the year. We've got four young men from Ayersville pulling off the exercise oh, bike. Chuck, what do you think about that? I'm just gonna shake my head and smile. <laughs> but the great thing about it is you see those guys and. It, it's a football player. You got a cross country guy. You got all sorts of different high school athletes coming there to support another team. And that's what's great about about that game that happened last week is that everybody turned out to support their team. Yeah, congratulations to Ayersville and Tenora on great regular seasons. Ayersville winning the championship. Yeah, yeah you know it's a. Uh, Ayersville is, I saw an eye-opening stat of how many sets they have won, you know, consecutively, and it's its a phenomenal number. It's well into the dozens, so they're they are rolling right now. Well, Chuck, it's time to dive into our game of the week, and it's a game you know something about. For those of you who don't know, Chuck is the defensive coordinator of the Ayersville Pilots, and you guys will be taking on Hicksville this Friday in a big GMC showdown. You guys come in unbeaten, Chuck, 4-0 right. in the league. Hicksville 6-2, 3-1. Talk about this matchup. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a huge game. You know, everybody keeps talking about Ayersville Tenora. Man, there's steps before we get to week 10 that we have to really focus on and take care of business. And, and for Hicksville, their numbers, if you're, you know, you're looking at the, the computer numbers are looking good so far. But man, you just, for both teams, you just have to win and take care of business and not worry about all the peripheral playoff stuff. Well, Chuck, you, on offense, you know, you guys got Dawson Dales at quarterback. He's okay. he's thrown for nine touchdowns, 907 yards. I yeah. think he's rushed for 683 more, seven right. TDs. And you got Hunter Stark, a thousand yard rusher with 16 TDs. How do you get those guys going against this Hicksville defense? Yeah, you know, and that's uh, Coach Dales has really done a great job of moving people around, trying to get put deep different people in different spots just to try to you know create some mismatches and that those two guys have done a great job you know and you look at uh, Jacob Miller too, our wide out yeah he uh, last week he broke the school record for receptions in a season 43 I got yeah you know so yeah. he, so that just adds another weapon that we have at our uh, disposal on offense and hopefully with those athletes, we can get them the ball and they can continue to do well. Well, Hicksville's led defensively by Logan Nyhart, Chuck. I have him down for 101 tackles. That kid must be all over the field. Man, I tell you, you watch the film and, and he comes downhill with, you know, some violence on his mind. <laughs> yeah. You know, he flies around and he's a he's an excitable guy. He plays with a lot of emotion. And when you're playing a defense that has a guy like that, you always have to know where he is and you have to scheme a little bit to, to try to limit his tackles. Well, let's flip it over, Chuck. You, you're going to be going against that offense led by quarterback Garrett Crawl. 958 yards passing. He's got 11 TDs, and Dylan Fuller almost a thousand yard rusher, uh, 987 yards and 12 TDs. Yeah. What do you guys have to do to stop them? You know, you watch Fuller on on tape, and he reminds me of the Energizer Bunny. Not a real big guy, but he's always bouncing around. He's always moving. Somebody goes to tackle him, his feet, you know, accelerate on contact. He might not run you over, but his feet keep moving. He might go around you. He might spin out of it, and he's always moving. And then you look at uh, their quarterback. Deceptive speed. The dude is like 6'5". Mm -hmm. So when he's, you know, striding down the field, it might not look like he's going that fast, but each step is gaining a lot of ground. And he's got a good arm, too, so, you know, he can stretch the field with the passes. So, again, it's it's two guys that you really have to, to try to limit what they're doing on offense. Well, here's an interesting stat for you. We talked about Dawson Dale as your quarterback. He also leads your team in tackles, <laughs> Chuck. 97 tackles, or 96 tackles, right. 7 sacks. And then you've got Hunter Stark, 71 tackles and five sacks. Yeah, you know, and that's 
and I'm proud of those guys. I'm the linebackers coach too. So when I look at that, you know, you know, I'm proud of what those guys have been able to accomplish. And when I look at Dawson Dales, he's one of those kids I always say I've never, never been around a high school athlete that has that gear. He plays in that gear all the time. When we're at practice, he's in that gear. You know, he's only got wide open. That's all he's got. And whether it's practice, whether it's a seven on seven in the weight room, that's all he's got. And it, it's really fun to coach a guy like that. Sometimes you have to try to slow him down a little bit, but man, it's hard to do because he's just got running to the ball on his mind. Well, it, it's, it's again, a big GMC showdown. It's, it's the end of the year, Chuck, fun time. Should be a great ball game. Oh yeah, you know, and, and again, the crowds get bigger and bigger, and I think there's going to be a, just a huge crowd over there at Hicksville when we go over there this weekend. And the, the support has been great, and, and hopefully we can put, you know, give everybody that's there a good game to watch. Well, we're going to take a break right now. Enjoy a new video from our own Abby in the fall colors. Did you know with an online subscription to the Crescent News, you can read every article, see every photo, download and read each printed page, and see all of the deals offered by our advertisers? For only $7 a month, you'll know the news in Northwest Ohio as it happens. And we're back, and it's time again, Chuck, for some awards. And let's start with the Rose Insurance Collision of the Week. Every week, Chuck, what do they say about that? You know, there's fender benders all over the place, but every week, there's only one Rose Insurance Collision of the Week. What do you got for us? You know, coming from that Wauseon Swanton game last week, Wauseon's going to take the kickoff. Mason Krieger hauls that in. He goes to get upfield, and he gets a nice little crack back block from Brendan Wilson. I'm telling you what, when you are on the kickoff team, you better have your head on a swivel because people are coming for you, and you don't know where they're coming from. Another great collision of the week, <laughs> Chuck. Awesome. Yeah. And now it's time for our Jacobs Meets Play of the Week from that same game. And it's kind of an interesting play. We've got uh, trailing 21-16, Swanton's got the football. We've got Noah Johnston takes a handoff for Swanton. He rolls to it, runs to his right. Looks like he's going to have a lane to go back to his left and get big yardage on third down. But one of his teammates kicks the ball out of his hands and causes a fumble. Swanton recovers the fumble, but they end up punting. Four plays later, Wasion's back in the end zone. They're up 28-16, and they go on to win 41-23 in that big NWOAL showdown. Man, squeeze that thing across your chest. I get, that, yeah, again, I get sure. I get the yips when I see that kind of stuff happening. Yep. <laughs> that is your Jacob's Meat <laughs> Play of the Week. And uh, I think we want to take a little bit of time to let the Ayersville and Hicksville fans know that Ethan is going to be at your game Friday. He's been getting great shots from the sidelines all year. You fans out there, be ready. Oh, yeah, you know, have fun, get wild. He'll get you on tape. He, he's, that's what I said the other day about Ethan. A lot of times you don't know Ethan's there, but he's always watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chuck, we again, let's take the time to thank our sponsors. Bat and Stevens Body Shop, our title sponsor for, for this and everything that they do every week. Frickers, yep. beautiful spread again. Rose Insurance and Jacob's Meats. We have to thank them every week because they do such a great job. Oh, yeah, and it's great that they get, give all that support to high school athletics. You know, the, a lot of times they don't hear and appreciate how much the kids, you know, appreciate all that they do for them. Yep. Well, as always, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're posting stuff every day. We've got uh, our email account. If you have any questions for us, please be sure to check that out. Yeah. Beforehand, we're on Periscope yeah. every week. Free. Check that out. Yeah, that's free. free. We so got I a pregame show. Yeah, somebody else give us hearts besides me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was his turn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Love myself. Yeah. And of course, a plug every week for our sports department. You know, they do a great job of covering high school sports. They've got the scores and stories up on Friday. They've got uh, the stuff up Saturday for you and Sunday. They put it all together in the print in the print edition. Yeah, it's great. You know, fi find out the scores. You know, soon after the games are over. That's what's great about that. Well, Chuck, before we get out of here for week nine, it's time for your words <laughs> of wisdom. What do you got for us this week? You, you know, Tim. The more I think about it, the best things in life are free and can be found at your concession stand. See you next week. <laughs>